Okay, we're going to go ahead and start looking at part C, which is the respiratory system and the endocrine system. And the first thing you need to do is locate the larynx and follow it, follow the trachea until it branches into the two ribbed uh, bronchi. So the, lar the, the trachea is this tube here and the larynx is at the top of that. And so we're going to carefully follow that down until we get to, and this is the esophagus, this tube right here, so you're going to need to locate that as well. Okay, it's right behind, it's dorsal to the trachea. Okay, and so we're going to follow the trachea down behind the heart. Be careful not to tear and rip any of, tear, cut any of those arteries and veins. Those are important. We're going to need to see those later when we look at the heart. And so you see the trachea it keeps going all the way down to the lungs. And the lungs are, this is the, um, the left lung, and over here on this side this is the right lungs. We're going to take those out in a moment and weigh them, but we want to look at the bronchi, where the bronchi split. Okay, this is the aorta. Alright, so here we're following our trachea down all the way to where it starts to split, and that happens right about in here. This is all just connective tissue. It just keeps everything in its place, keeps it from moving. Okay, so right back here behind the behind the aorta, which is the artery that comes from your vein, and from your heart, and the um, esophagus right there, this is where the trachea is going to split, and the two bronchi right there. Okay? Um, and then we, see, we saw our lungs. And if we were to put a straw, and it tells you to do this, if you put a straw into the tra into the larynx here and blow into it, you would see the, the lungs inflate. So go ahead and try that. Don't inhale. If you inhale, you're going to get some of this gunky chemicals and all that in your, in your mouth, and that's going to be nasty. Okay, so the, the esophagus is the second tube right here. Okay. And if you want to, you can... Pull that connective tissue away and you can pull that all the way apart. And that goes all the way down to the stomach. The stomach is all the way down here. Okay? And so that goes all the way down to the stomach. Okay, next we're going to look for the thymus. The thymus, we're looking at the front of our organ block. The thymus sits on top of and goes around the, um, the trachea, but it sits right on top of the heart. This part, it's an endocrine gland. And it's important in in um, blood cells um, and things like that. Um, what you're going to want to do, and the thyroid is there too; it's connected there as well. So all of this right here is the is the thymus, okay? And then the thyroid. The thyroid is is kind of back in here. So we're going to use your scissors. You want to just cut. And it's all connected to that pericardial sac that we we talked about. And we want to cut that out, and you're going to measure it in length, and you're going to measure it in um, the mass. Be careful that you don't cut any of the arteries and veins that go to the heart. Okay. Okay. So there's some arteries right up in there. We don't want to cut that. And we're just very carefully pulling that tissue out. I accidentally snipped that superior vena cava right there. You want to look, that's the superior vena cava, and I accidentally snipped it a little bit. We have some blood coming out. So be careful not to do that.
Okay, so that's the thymus gland. I don't know if I got any of the thyroid or not. I think I left most of the thyroid. But go ahead and mask that, measure it, weigh it, and we'll set it aside, okay? Um, the next thing that it tells you to look at is look at the diaphragm, okay? The diaphragm, again, was this, this muscle right here. This is the liver, and it sits right on top of that liver, okay? And it's used in your, to, to help you breathe. That's, what, that's the muscle that contracts to make you breathe, okay? Um, what we're going to end up, we're going to do now is we're going to cut out the, the, um, the lungs. Okay, the lungs are on this side and on this side. And you, let's, I'm going to turn him over so we can see the, the bronchi a little bit better. Okay, so we can cut that out. I'm going to use the scissors. And again, you see where it's coming in, the trachea split, and where it's coming in right there. That's what I'm going to cut right there. Okay, and you can see it's a hole, it's a tube. Okay, and then there's just connective tissue, and just kind of pull them out. This was the, this is the left lung. You're going to weigh and measure the left lung. And you do the same thing with the right lung. Okay, so on this side, we should be able to find where the trachea goes into the right lung. Okay, it's right back in here. I'm going to there's some connective tissue to cut through. When y'all want to work together to try to try to get this So there's the there's the bronchi where it splits, and so I'm going to cut right through that right there. And we can cut some of this as well to separate it out. Okay, and that's with some arteries and veins that go from the heart to the lungs. Also need to be cut right there, kind of at that same spot. Okay, and we should just be able to pull the lung out then like that. And so if you look with your blunt probe, you see a lot of these. There's the bronchi, that's where the air goes in. And you see there's a lot of other little holes right there. Those are pulmonary arteries and veins that go in and out of the lungs so that the lungs can take air to the blood, give air to the blood, give oxygen to the blood. Okay? So you want to weigh and mass that one as well. After you've weighed and masked these, you want to look at the microscope slide of the mammal lung and answer the questions in the respiratory and endocrine system. And then the next step is the circulatory system, and we'll go on to that part next.